Hey, what's going on? This is Michael from Modern Musician. And in this video, we're going to create your rain catcher that allows you to take new listeners that are discovering your music and build a deeper relationship with them and turn them into actual fans and supporters of your music. This is module three of five in terms of our free Modern Musician course. It's basically designed to help you to get your music launched, to explode your fan base, make a profit with your music online. Specifically in this module, we're gonna focus on now that you've started generating new traffic, how do you build a deeper relationship with those people and actually create a thriving tribe and a community of people that are resonating with the songs. So by the end of the video, we're gonna have created your fan magnet that basically allows you to attract and pull in new listeners and convert them into actual subscribers of your songs that you can stay in touch with, you can send out text messages, messages and emails when you're playing a show near them. Uh, it's gonna give you an easy way to link fans to doing the actions that really support you as a musician. So following you on your social media platforms and streaming your songs on Spotify and referring other friends. And it's gonna allow you to identify and reward your top fans for, for being a fan. It's pretty cool. Part of the reason that I'm doing this free course is because I'm looking for new artists to mentor personally. The goal is to build a profitable funnel that allows you to focus on your music full time so that you can you know, wake up every day with messages from new fans who are discovering your music or genuinely enjoying it. And you don't have to rely on just the same friends, fans, and family to listen to your music. My band Paradise Fears, we went from a point where we lived in our van to releasing an album that hit number two on iTunes and touring worldwide with about 24 million streams on Spotify without a record label independently. When I started my family about five years ago, I was kind of like a, a basketball player player who became a coach. I started this business modern musician to be able to coach and help other artists to be able to build a successful music career. In the past year alone, our artists have generated over 96 million streams with their music. They've hit $2.6 million in revenue from their music. And we had an artist whose album hit number one as a singer songwriter on iTunes as an independent artist. So if you're interested, you can spend an application to work directly with me and, and my team. We have about 29 coaches now. They really enjoy using all these tools and basically helping to build these systems for you. And we do have a, a limited number of spots that we can work with. And so we have to be really selective with who we bring in to the program. Right now, we bring in about 800 applications per month and narrow it down to about 25 to 30 artists to work with. Uh, in order to be qualified, really the three main requirements are that one, uh, you need to be at a point that you've already recorded at least one high quality song that you feel proud of, that you're ready to promote. It doesn't have to be released. It needs to be at high enough quality that can be competitive. Requirement number two is that you need to have a healthy budget to be able to invest into your music career. And we're gonna be using a lot of really awesome tools and running different types of campaigns. And so my recommendation would be to have at least $1,000 per month, like minimum, that you can invest into creating a profitable music career. So it's something that you need to be serious about, like actually pursuing this full time. Requirement number three is that you need to be coachable, willing to take action really quickly and to do <laughs> What we, what we guide you to do. And if you think that you might be a good fit, you can spend an application. If you make it to the next step in the selection process, then one of our talent scouts will get on a strategy session with you to learn more about your situation, your goals and your challenges and see if we would be a good fit and to create a, a custom game plan for you based on your music and based on your situation. All right, so let's dive into the training for today. So in module two, we walked through how building your fan base is a lot like you know, starting a fire. We walked through the three different strategies that we recommend in order to grow your fan base from scratch. Right, tour hacking, virtual tour hacking, and hyper networking. So if you didn't see that, make sure to go back and, and check that out. That's really kind of foundational to everything that we're walking through here. And now really the next step is once you've launched your campaigns and you start generating traffic and new fans who are discovering the music, then the next part of the analogy is that we, we call this the rain catcher. So in a way it's sort of like it starts to rain and each of the raindrops represents a new fan that's discovering your songs. And so all this rain starts to fall. You know, if it's your first time really having uh, fans who are discovering the songs as a musician, that feels awesome. It feels really great. And most people are saying down here, they're like, this is awesome. People actually like me and they like my music. Cool. The problem is just that eventually the storm passes, right? The storm passes, the rain stops falling down. And the majority of the rain in the situation just kind of fell. It just went into the, went into the ground and we we're just left holding what's in your hands. And that's why you hear so many stories about one hit wonders or people that you're like, wow, like what happened to that band? They had the number one hit. Now they, you know, now they, their new album came out and no one heard about it. Well, the reason is probably because they, they didn't have a rain catcher. They didn't have a way to stay in touch with all those fans who had connected with their, their music. What I recommend instead is getting you smart, getting strategic about creating rain catchers 
so that as the rain's falling, you're basically able to collect the, the rain and build a deeper relationship with those fans so that when you release a new song or an album or you go on tour, you can just reach out to those people and say, hey, I'm about to play in New York. And you can send them a text message to all your fans who live within 30 miles of New York and reach out to them directly. One thing that you wanna do here is you actually wanna create fan magnets is what we call them. You put them at the top of the rain catcher and as the rain falls, it literally attracts and pulls in the rain to the funnels as they're falling. And we're gonna create the fan magnet today on, on this training. You know, one of the biggest mistakes that I see artists make, especially when they're just getting started is that one they don't have a rain catcher in the first place let's imagine that you have this like neighbor friend who walks up and notices that you're standing there all alone putting out your hands and let's call him a uh, farmer facebook and farmer facebook walks up it's like howdy y'all hey i see you ain't got one of them rain catches you want to use one of mine i got two of them called facebook and instagram I just use one of my rain catches that free most artists are like oh sweet so I don't even need my own email list or phone number list, right? Like I can just use social media and grow my audience, right? On TikTok or Instagram or Facebook or YouTube. Then one day, you know, Farmer Facebook's like, well, you know what? If you wanna use my rain catches, then you can have to pay me some money to reach those people. Those are my rain catches. You know, the truth is that you don't own your audience when they're on those platforms. Mark Zuckerberg owns your audience. So they have every right to, you know, to say like, you need to pay them money in order to reach them. And that's really Facebook's main model is advertising. So if you're an ad advertiser and you know how to run paid traffic and you're smart with building funnels and systems, it's awesome because it really gives you a systematic way to be able to grow your audience. But the bottom line is that you don't want to have to rely on another platform like Facebook or Instagram or TikTok or YouTube as being the sole owner of your community. Right? It's okay to use those platforms. And in fact, like I definitely recommend that you use whatever platforms you resonate with, but really the main name of the game, whatever platform you're using, should be driving people off of those platforms into your own rain catcher that you own so that no matter what happens, if you know, Facebook goes out of business or TikTok you know, explodes and you know, dominates the world or, or Instagram starts you know, diminishing organic reach and you have to do it through paid traffic. No matter what, you own this community and you can send out a text message, send out an email to send them anywhere that, that you want. This is something that we call a CRM. Your list, this stands for Customer Relationship Manager. And a Customer Relationship Manager basically allows you to have a list of all of your fans that has their email address, you know, their phone number, their name, their location, maybe where they're from, and other details that, that you assign to them. What that does for you is it allows you to effectively communicate with your fans. So if you're playing a show in New York, you can send out a text message to all of your fans in New York and say, hey, I'm playing in New York, you should come hang out. And that's super, super powerful. Basically every online business knows this and they realize that they're their list is one of their most valuable assets. Part of the reason that that's, you know, that it's so important is because if you just crunch the numbers, all right, let's say that you have 10,000 fans and it's the same 10,000 fans that you have on Facebook versus 10,000 fans that you have their phone numbers. And let's say that you release a new song. So you make a post, you say, hey, I just released a new song. I'd love for you to check it out. Here's the link. On Facebook, 4% of those people who follow your page are actually gonna see the post that you released a new song. That's only 4%, let alone people who actually see it and then click on it, right? Then the news feed, they're scrolling through and there's always lots of distractions, stuff happening. So in that case, about 400 people would actually see that you released a new song versus with a text message, 97% of those people are going to actually open the text message and see that release a new song. And they're gonna be in a format that they're way more likely to actually click and listen versus if they're kind of scrolling through and they're distracted on Facebook. So that's about 9,700 people versus 400 with literally the exact same group of people. Really the name of the game is to build your own CRM, your own community that, that you own so that Mark Zuckerberg doesn't have the ability to thwart your music career in one fell swoop. The good news is that the Street Team software that we've developed for you, we've literally designed it with you in mind to give you ownership of this community. And we could have done it differently. We could have made this a subscription model or something where if you leave the Street Team app, then all of a sudden, like, you know, all of your fans are gone. But to serve you best as an independent musician, we built it in a way that you own the audience. So if you leave, then you can export your list and you can do, you know, you own that relationship, which I think is really important. So what we're gonna do now in the rest of this video is I'm actually gonna get you set up using the Street Team software so that you can build your own fan funnel your own rain catcher. Whenever you have a new fan who discovers your music, you can send the link to your fan funnel so they can get a free gift and join your community. All right, so I'm gonna give you a quick walkthrough of how the fan funnel process works through the Street Team app. 
So basically, when you send a link to your fan funnel, your fans are gonna come to a page that looks like this that asks, where do you listen to new music? They can choose their favorite platform, and then it's gonna say, listen for 30 seconds to unlock a free gift. All right, so that's the fan magnet. So the fan magnet is literally pulling them in. It gives them a free gift in exchange for joining the community. After listening for 30, se 30 seconds, it unlocks the claim your free gift button, and it's gonna ask them, did you enjoy the song? Yes, no, I hated it. And it's gonna filter out people who didn't who didn't really enjoy it. So you can stay focused and target the people who resonate with it. Then it's going to say, get your free starter pack. Later on in the video training series, we're going to walk through how to create your free plus shipping offer, create your own starter pack. But for now, um, you can basically just set this up as a digital um, folder or something with demos or whatever you'd like as a free gift. And they can opt in in order to get your free starter pack. Once they've opted in, now they're technically in your street team and they can rank up in your street team and unlock different perks and benefits based on these fan actions that they're taking that support you. Playing your songs on Spotify, following you on social media or attending a show. Based on the points that they're getting, they can rank up and they can unlock different perks and benefits. And for you, as an artist, it really gives you this segmented ability to look at all of your fans and to see who are my most engaged fans based on how many points that they have. So you can create look-like audiences that directly target people who are similar to the most engaged fans that you have in your community. And we've actually built this in from the ground up within the, the Street Team app. So you can click on a single button and it literally creates your look-like audiences based on how many points that they have. So it's pretty, pretty dang cool. So the steps to create your fan funnel are one, uh, if you look below in the resources, you're gonna have a link that allows you to sign up for a free trial of the software. And depending on when you're watching this, you might be one of the first people to actually have access to this aside from our clients that we're working with personally. We built this, this software from the ground up to basically replace $300 a month worth of software from like five or six different tools that we're using right now. Based on ClickFunnels, ActiveCampaign, Janus AI, Dialogflow, ManyChat, and all these different tools. We basically wanted to custom build this in a way that um, is more integrated with your needs as a musician. The software is like $47 per month and you'll have the opportunity to you know, try it out for 14 days and decide whether it's something that you'd like to stay subscribed to or not, and you can cancel anytime. That is the Street Team software. And so once you sign up for the free trial, you'll come to a page that looks like this, and you'll start out by creating your fan magnet. So this is really the first thing that your fan's gonna see when they click on your fan funnel. So you can either embed a song from SoundCloud, YouTube, or Spotify right now, and, and probably in the future, we're actually gonna include uh, different music players as well. Let's say that we started with Spotify, for example. Basically, if you just copy the link to one of your songs and you uh, paste it in here, then it's going to replace this with whatever the song is that you posted in there. And then you copy and paste a link to your free gift. So we're gonna walk through how to create your starter pack in the next module. But for now, I would recommend just putting something that you can keep here for now, starterpack.com. And from there, you're gonna go to the next page and then we call this your tribal accelerator. So here you can basically select any of these links that you wanna get started with. If you already have an email set up that's for your fans, you can click on that so that they can send this. Um, you also can include a Spotify link. We're adding some configurability in here. So what you're seeing actually might look um, quite a bit different from what you're seeing right here in the video because we're adding a bunch of features and we're improving things really rapidly. For now, you can basically decide which actions you want to include. In the next video, we're going to walk through how to create your street team community. And so we'll basically set up this link for you. But then once you click save on this, you can click on this copy link button. Then fans will basically come to this page where they can do these different actions and unlock different rewards based on taking action and getting more points. So it kind of looks like, kind of looks like this pretty cool. The action step for today is to create your fan funnel, get it set up so you can start sharing it with new fans and listeners. In the next video, we're going to launch your street team. And from there, we're going to walk through the Intune process for you to have more conversations with these fans and start to make actual sales to new fans. I hope this has been valuable for you so far. I geek out on this stuff. Um, can't wait for you to use the software and to get your feedback on it. If this has been valuable, let me know in the comments what, what you think. I would also love to see some actual links of your guys' fan funnels and listen to your music. So feel free to share your fan funnel links in the comments. If you found this video valuable, if you could do me a favor and smash the like button, you know, subscribe, then that lets the algorithms know that this is going to be valuable for you and that you want more. Otherwise, if you'd like to cut to the chase and want to save as much time as possible, then there's a masterclass that we created called the Modern Musician Masterclass. It's about two hours long that literally summarizes all of the entire free course into about two hours of action-packed, valuable nuggets of wisdom. And it walks through the five steps to explode your fan base, make a profit with your music online. Um, really the main requirement is that you have at least one song that you've already recorded, that you feel proud of, that you're ready to share with new fans, whether it's been released or not. In that training, we're going to give you a bunch of resources and tools that help you to build your fan funnel, along with a spreadsheet for tracking your metrics. And we'll walk through the top four offers that we recommend making so that you can generate your first $1,000, $5,000, $10,000 per month or beyond. 
with your music career. Ultimately, I think it's just gonna save you a ton of time, money, and energy. We've invested over $738,000 in the past year alone to learn what's working best right now for independent musicians. And you're gonna be able to learn in like two hours everything that I've learned in the last 11 years. You also learn how to avoid the most common mistakes that the majority of artists are making nowadays. If that sounds interesting to you, then click on the description below where it says join the masterclass. Otherwise, hope this has been valuable for you and look forward to seeing you in the next video where we're gonna walk through how to create your street team. Yeah! Woo.